Today I'm going to talk to you about Master Data Services, which is Microsoft's Master Data Management product that ships with SQL Server. You would typically use MDS in order to deliver a single, clean and consistent view of your Master Data entities, such as customer or product, to any system that needs them. But you'd also use MDS in order to manage business intelligence applications, such as an analysis services cube, which often consist of multiple hierarchies that need managing. And this is what we're going to look at today. So I've got an Excel 2010 report here that I've, I've built very simply by connecting to an analysis services cube. The customer dimension that we're looking at on the left hand side, the source of this data is a fictitious sales system for a fictitious media distribution company. Unfortunately though, these categories that we're looking at here, for example saying that Kmart is a hypermarket, is not held in the source system. So although the source system holds the numerical facts that we're looking at here, and it holds the name of the customers such as Kmart or Target or Walmart or Sainsbury's or Tesco, it doesn't know that one business is a hypermarket or an entertainment retailer or an, an online retailer. So that is something that has to be maintained by a business user. Now often what's ha what happens in a data warehouse like this is that there may be some sort of mapping table that uh, IT maintain and when people want to change that mapping table then they contact IT. Uh, IT once they have the time will get around to changing it. Master Data Services can really help here because it can put the control of maintaining this data in the hands of the expert business users. And that's what we're going to see today. So what we've got is a, a new customer has arrived called 7Digital. The default behavior of this data warehouse is to put this into a category of unknown quite simply because that's quite a lot of sales and the person who needs to categorize the data um, may not be around today or they may be busy. So at the request of the users they want to see this three million pounds of sales as soon as it's available. But we happen to know that Seven Digital is an online retailer, so we're going to we're going to use Master Data Services now to categorize Seven Digital correctly. So I'm going to go into Master Data Manager, and what I've got here is I, I can pick the model that I'm working with. So I typically have a model for perhaps locations, one for customer, one for products, depending on how many Master Data entities I'm managing. I'm just managing customers today, so I'm going to stick with customers. I've got the Explorer function, which is the main functions that the users would use to maintain the master data entities. I've got version management, where I can create a new version of my master data of my of my entire master data entities, which can be very useful for for archiving and what if analysis on master data. I've got integration management where I can create the objects that are needed to integrate with other systems. I've got some system admin features and I've got all the usual security that you might expect from this sort of product. But I'm going to start off with the Explorer and I've got a hierarchy that resembles exactly what we, should, what we saw there in Excel 2010. And we're looking at customers by categories here. So if I expand the nodes of the hierarchy then I should see that I get the same view that we saw in Excel. And indeed we do. So I happen to know that 7Digital is an online retailer. So what I'm going to do is expand online, expand media retailer, because I know it's a media retailer. And what I can do is I can do drag or drop um, if I want to. So I'm going to drag and drag 7Digital up to Media Retailer, release the mouse, and it should be moved, which it has been. And what I'm also going to do is I perhaps just want to say that um, a couple of these, Carrefour and Arshan, perhaps we don't consider those hypermarkets anymore, so I'm going to say they're supermarkets. So I just want to do that to show you the copy and paste facility. So I'm going to click on Carrefour and Arshan, I'm going to click the copy to clipboard button down the bottom here 
They're now in my clipboard. I can then go to supermarkets and I can click on this paste as child button. Um, am I sure I want to paste those? Yes, I do. So Carrefour and Ashan are now considered supermarkets by our business user. So that's done. Now what we'd normally have is automatically the analysis services cube would be updated by reading the relevant data from master data services and moving that data into the warehouse. Um, as this is just a demo, I've not got that facility set up. So I'm just going to go into analysis services and I'm going to process my customer dimension. So it's just a process update. So I'm going to click OK. Should only take a minute or so to process, a few seconds even. So I'm going to close that now. I'm going to go back into Excel. I'm going to right click on my report. I'm going to click refresh. And sure enough, the unknown buckets has gone. Seven Digital is now considered a media retailer, an online media retailer. And sure enough, Alshan and Carrefour have been moved into the supermarkets category. So there we have it. We've used Master Data Services to successfully manage a hierarchy in an analysis services cube.